That's enough of that. Kirikoto Fono. Um, hope you guys liked yesterday. That's pretty much how I'm going to structure these. Going to do either mindfulness or a little bit of just well being in the beginning of the video. And then we'll do some fitness afterwards. I do have, I said, the links that you could fast forward and skip this part if you really don't want to and go to the instructions or just go to the workout. So everything I'm going to do, I'm going to show you pretty much the movements and how to do them and then a quick little blast. So I'm not doing um, workouts like everyone else who have the weights and stuff and running and all that. I'm, I'm looking at more of that home base if you're with your um, family, if you're with your kids, if you're just a teacher, if you're just an individual and you want just a quick like 20 minute blast, that's kind of all I'm looking at doing. As I said, if you want to make anything I'm doing more difficult, add weight, um, add movements, add reps, add speed, add depth. You, you guys, most of you would know what to do if you want to add some movement. So today's well-being. We're not going to do um, mindfulness so much, just as well-being. So one of the hardest things is today's day one. Nobody knows what to expect. I think a lot of people, talking to people yesterday, a lot of people going into this um, just with a mindset of, oh, I have to stay home. Yeah, but you almost have to stay inside for four and a half weeks. You can go for walks, go for bike rides around your neighborhood. You can't really go for a drive anywhere, and you have to be smart. So it's going to get trying, very trying. So here's what we're going to do today for our well-being. I want you to write down maybe two, maybe three things max. Things that you would like to do, achieve, or accomplish fully today. Something you might want to get done. Could be cooking. You might want to cook a breakfast. You might want to cook lunch, cook dinner. Write that down. If it is going outside and doing a walk, write that down. If it is actually doing the workout in this video, maybe write that down. That's, that's something you'd like to accomplish. Have two to three things. And the reason I say two to three, Make it achievable. Again, it's day one. Our heads aren't going to be in the right headspace as we go. But this is kind of your checklist. So you can actually put it up somewhere, right? Put it on the fridge, put it on your table. If you're going to sit on the couch and watch movies all day, type it up on your um, computer. That's what I do. I type it up on my computer, what things I want to do today. So my list already was I want to make another video. So I'm up early. It's like 7 in the morning and I've shut the doors and stuff and I've locked myself in the office-ish. We're going to, um, I have to edit the video. Then I want to do my own workout. So that's two workouts today. So that's my, that's three already that I'm up to. And then I want to do 20-ish minutes of my nutrition course. So I have four things I'd like to accomplish today. And they're quite easy, quite achievable, but again, that's something for me to, I have a goal. I need to work towards something. I'm not just going to sit on my butt and watch 20 hours of movie TV shows, which I could easily do, but I'm not going to do it. So that is your well-being for today. It's a lot shorter than yesterday. As we move into the workout video, again, down below in the descriptions, you guys can comment. Do you enjoy it, not enjoy it? What movements do you want to see? Do you want an upper body day, lower body day, full body day? Do you want like a circuit? Do you want to learn how to do some movements? Um, you can also put in the comments. For me, it'd start to be fun if anyone's watching through these. Um, what are the three or four tasks today you would like to accomplish? And then you, I could call you out tomorrow. Have you accomplished those tasks? And you can look back and reflect on them. So maybe write your three or four things that you'd like to do. I've added four. I said two to three. I'm doing four, so maybe you can do four. Put them in the comments. Tomorrow I'll call you out. You can look back and see if you've done them. That could be an interesting thing. All right. I'm going to finish this coffee like normal, and we will see you for the workout. Right, so today we're going to do um, something a bit different. We're going to do more of an upper body and core gonna do it inside it's a bit foggy and stuff so um, clear a little bit of space and some of you might be doing this inside so I'm gonna be switching 
in and out of where I do these things so that you guys can also use what's around you, all right? First thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go through three times, 10 reps each. First one's a scat push-up. So I'm gonna do a push-up, but I'm gonna keep my arms locked out. What I wanna try and do is just squeeze my shoulder blades together, okay? So if I was on the ground, it would look like this. Just squeeze them together from the back. If I'm doing a push-up, I'm just trying to squeeze my shoulder blades together. So it's called a scat push-up. So we're gonna do 10. Now you can do these from your knees, easy enough. And you can do them from your toes, depending on how fit you are. And I'll do both examples for my 10. Then we're gonna do some glute bridges. Then we're gonna do um, standing high knees. If you wanna amp that up, um, do running high knees. But this is again, because we're gonna be sitting so much, I just wanna get the hips and stuff going almost every day. Um, and then we're just gonna do some really light jump squats to get the heart rate up, all right? So the first thing is those scat push-ups. So from the front, arms are straight and locked out. I'm just going to try and squeeze my shoulder blades together and up, so that's one. Squeeze my shoulder blades, two, three. So from the side, it would look like this. Four, five. If I want, I can go to my knees. One, Four, five. That's 10, so we've already done that. Hip thrust into glute bridge, so this is where I'm gonna be on my back. Right. Laying down, arms on the ground, easier. Arms up, harder. I'm just going to squeeze my foot, push my hips up. That's one, okay? Squeeze and push, two, three, Four. You want to make it harder, put your foot up, and do five on each leg. Okay. Wicked, that's 10. So, so far we're done two of our movements. Next one is high knees. Again, we're not gonna run. Just one, two, right? Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Just a little bit of our lower core, but again, I want your hips to keep moving into nice, easy jump squats. So I'm not doing a full depth squat. I'm just gonna do a quarter squat and jump. Okay, if you really wanna make it hard, go all the way down. That'll get your legs, okay? So six, seven, eight, nine. That's one round. We're gonna do two more for a total of three rounds, 10 reps on each. So join in, okay. So with those scat push-ups, try and think someone's touching your spine and you're trying to pinch their fingers. Or a good one is always someone's put a $20 bill in between your shoulder blades and you need to squeeze it in order to hold on to it. That's all we're doing, just squeezing, okay? Back to the glute bridges. We wanna try and squeeze, all right? Get the glutes involved. Push through your heels. Okay. okay. Remember to breathe through everything. All right, high knees. Just quick. Over. Again, you can run these. Okay. You really want to get the heart rate going, double it. So the high knee, instead of just doing five a leg, do 10 a leg and run, okay? In our jump squats. Same thing, you can go as low as you want or as shallow as you want. We're just trying to get the heart rate going. Seven, eight, nine, 10, okay. 
That's two rounds. We got one more. Right. Here we go. So scat push-ups again. Last one. Squeeze that $20 note. Right. This is a really good one too if you want to try and get push-ups or have like a goal. Remember I said a goal. Maybe after today your goal changes and you want to accomplish by the end of four weeks push-ups. That's something you want to do. Comment below. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to get stronger for your push-ups. Right. Glute bridges. Yeah. We're not using the couch and doing hip thrusts. Okay, that's different. That's why we're laying on the ground. So again, you can make it harder and do one leg five times. Okay. Trying to squeeze. All right, and then you can do the other leg five times. High knees, jump squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool, it's done. So that's the warm up. Three sets through. So, workout today. Okay gonna do a bit different. So we're gonna do push-ups, we're gonna do some Russian twists, we're gonna do dips, and we're gonna do um, a mini inchworm. So shoulders and chest and triceps, they're gonna go. Um, that's the point. Okay, so what you might need today, towel just for Russian twists. So if you wanna add a little weight, I just, like my camera bag, I got some stuff in it, grab a backpack, grab a book. Um, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna start with um, push-ups. Now yesterday we did um, times, we're gonna do the same thing today. So push-ups, again, go from your knees if you need to, just like the scat push-ups, right? Hips come forward. Just go as low as you want to. Add a pillow. Okay, then I don't have to go as low. Go from your toes if you want to. Or use a couch. Okay, so what we're going to do for the very first thing is we're going to do 10 seconds of push-ups and you have to hold it for 20 seconds. We're going to do that for 8 rounds, which is 4 minutes. So it's going to get grueling. If you really need to rest, try and rest. Um, take a round off if you need to. Okay? So first one, 10 seconds of push-ups. Go! Rest. So now you rest for 20. This is going to be the hard part. This is where the scaling might come in. Might have to rest scale. Three, two, one. Go again. Rest. So that's one round. We got three more once we're done this rest. And this is going to be the hardest part. So again, for those who really need to, down on your knees. Remember, hips are forward. We're not in like a dog position. Okay, so we can do it this way. Go. Hips are forward. Rest, same thing. Try and squeeze your core while you're resting. Okay, don't let your butt sag. Again, we're not in a dog position. So try and have your hips forward, put some weight into your shoulders. We're holding. Five seconds. Two, one, we're push ups. Rest. Keep going. 
Okay, that's halfway. So if you're doing a couch version, same thing, you'll be resting on the couch. Okay, squeeze in the belly, don't let everything break. So squeeze your belly. Four, three, two, one, push ups. Two, one, hold. Now, if this gets too challenging, right, rest. So if you have to, just rest. Just rest. We're trying to do the push ups for 10 seconds, okay? That'll be the goal. For those who really want to push themselves, try and hold into that plank. So again, if you really want to, we're here, squeeze the belly, we're going. 10 seconds worth. Okay, rest. Remember, you only have to go as low as you want to or as achievable, okay? If you really need to rest here, then try and do real push-ups from toes if you are struggling. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Rest. Now this is a brutal one to start today but a good one. We're really gonna put some fire into those arms. Here we go, four, three, two, one, push-ups. And I'm dead. Oh. Two, one, try and hold last 20 seconds. Focus on squeezing your belly button. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep going, keep going. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Okay, we've got about a minute rest. That was the first exercise. Now we're gonna take a break from the arms. We're gonna do some Russian twists. So if you have nothing, hands. Right? 30 seconds, or 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Okay. You can always use a towel. It's almost like you're rowing, but without the rowing. Said, or if you have a book or a bag or anything, just add some weight, right? Use the books. Okay. Again, for those who really know, just keep your feet on the ground if you need to. So the first round, my feet will be on the ground. Okay. We're doing this for four minutes. Ready? So I'll go through the examples. Hands, we got four, three, two, one. Hands. Two, one, rest. And try and, I'm always an advocate, follow your fingers. I can do that too, not a lot of core. Follow your hands. Okay, go. Feet up if you want to make it harder. Rest. All right, that's one round. For those who have their towels, okay. Again, if you want, feet on the ground. Two, one, towel. Stare at the towel. Keep your arms straight. It'll make it a bit harder rather than in. Three, two, one. Right, so try and keep them out. Again, here, it's less of a movement. Here, harder of a movement. Three, two, one, feet up.
and rest. That's two minutes. And for those, if you have a bag or a weight, same thing, you can always do one round. Go, put your feet on the floor. Remember, tapping. We're not bouncing, just tap it. Four, three, two, one. And again, if you want to bring your feet up, it makes it more challenging. And four, three, two, one. Cool. Okay, ready? Go. If it's on the ground, if it's up, try and follow your hands. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, rest. We got one more. Four. Three, two, one. Even if you have to, start with your feet up. All right, you go as long as you can. It's starting to get real hard, which is 10 seconds in. Oh, put your feet down. Still try and lean a bit. Three, two, one. Good. Ooh, core done. Okay, next one. Couch, chair table, the back of your deck. We're gonna do dips, all right? So, feet are not straight, knees are bent, so I can get my back as close as I can, all right? If I'm out further, too much pressure on my shoulder, okay? So I wanna go to 90 degrees and up. If you can't go to 90 because of your couch, that's fine. Go a bit slower and up. Bring your feet right under you. That's gonna make it easier. Slightly further away and on the heels, harder. Okay, we got 30 seconds. So I said if you can do a couch, the edge of a couch. A table, for instance. Okay, use whatever you can find around the house. 15 seconds. If it was nice enough, I would do it out on the deck today. Same thing, we're going for 20 seconds. You can go fast or slow or mix it up. Three, two, one, here we go. 90 degrees. All right. I'm doing more of a tempo, slower down, and then slow it up. It's gonna be worse in the long run. Three, two, one. All right. Now, tempo ones are gonna be real good. Everything's gonna hurt, so if you really need to rest, rest, but try and move. Here we go. Ten seconds in. Three, two, one. That's a minute in. Now your arms are going to be sore from those push-ups. We're gonna push through scale as you need. Here we go, three, two, one. I can go feet in and just dip as low as I can, All right? So maybe you can only go that low, that's fine. Just go that low, okay? But you're gonna try and do it for the four minutes. If you can go lower, go lower, All right? See how that slow tempo went up? That should burn and rest. And if you're on the couch, wherever you need, I just want you to move. Here we go, go. Okay, look. I can bring my feet in nice and close. I can do a tempo, and I'm still getting a bird. And I have tons of body weight in my feet at the moment. Taking the pressure off, and it still burns. Two, 
one, press halfway. Give it a quick shake, quick breath. Here we go in five, three, two, one. Now some of you maybe want to go quicker. That's fine, you might have to take a rest, cool. We still got 10 seconds, keep going. Three, two, one. Nice work. Got 90 seconds left, all right? One full minute of work. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Good work. Just breathe. Remember, I try to keep my back as close to this as possible. I don't want to be way up here, okay? Nice and close, keep going. Three, two, one. 10 second rest. We got 40 seconds of work left, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Make sure the whole time you're nice and square. Not in here, not over here, right? Like yesterday's squat, big and proud chest. So here we go, keep going. Five, four, three, two, rest. 20 more seconds. You guys have been doing real good. Almost there. Well, two, one, here we go. Make it good. Keep going, we're halfway. Come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo. Burner, burner. All right. The last one is, again, I warned you at the beginning, shoulders and chest and arms are gonna be hurting today. So this one's a mini inchworm. This one's more for our core, okay? So same thing, you can do it from your feet or from your knees, okay? But we're going to do it a bit differently. All right, we're gonna go for four rounds. However, we're gonna do 20 seconds of work with a 40 second rest. For those who really want to, um, I'll give you a 30 second time as well. So you can go for 30 and 30 off, okay? So, mini inchworm. I can be on my knees, hips forward, All right? I'm just gonna shuffle my hands forward. All right, just a little bit of distance, but again, I'm sucking in my belly, so tight in the belly. Okay, so we're gonna go up, here we go, and go. Two or three steps forward, two or three steps back. Keep going, five seconds, three, two, rest, okay? If you're going for 30 seconds, keep going. You got five, four, three, two, one, rest. Now you can see it's just baby steps, right? Baby steps forward, baby steps back. So I wanna go from a push-up position with my shoulders stacked. Okay, it's maybe about two. And the whole time you're squeezing your belly. So it's nice and tight in the belly. Okay, I shouldn't see an arch back. If anything, it's slightly round. Okay, we got nine seconds. Same thing, I can do it from my knees. Okay. Two, one, go. So stack the weight, a couple baby steps out. Squeeze the belly. Let the hips come forward. If you're on the knees like me, hips come forward. Okay, two, one. Keep going if you're on 30 seconds. For those doing longer, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Perfect, we're halfway, two rounds to go, okay? You guys are doing real wicked. Hopefully you're sweating like I am. It's all of a sudden becoming a nice day. I could have gone outside. It was real foggy this morning though. For anyone in the world in New Zealand who woke up early like me, 
I can actually go see outside. It was real eerie. Okay, here we go. Five seconds. So try and plank it if you can on your toes, right? Two, one, go. Suck your belly. Baby steps. Keep going. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Keep going if you're 30 seconds. All right. Four, three, two, one. We have one more minute. So for some of you, 20 seconds. For some of you, 30 seconds. All right. Real good. Again, this sets up your day beautifully if you do it in the morning when you get up. And it's quick. Everything I'm telling you is gonna be short, sharp, sweet. 10 seconds. Okay. Try and do this one the best one you can, okay? Three, two, one, go. Suck that belly, tight belly, tight belly. Keep going, three, two, one. Rest, keep going 10 seconds for those. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, good work. Social distancing, high five. Now, for those who really want something, like a little finisher, sometimes I'll do little finishers. Um, 50 donkey kicks. Okay, total. Um, doesn't matter how you do it, you can do five, you can alternate legs, you can do 25 on one, 25 on the other. I'll show you the donkey kick. Right. So I'm here, knees right. are just apart. I'm going to probably not kick the couch. Got so squeeze my butt. So I'm pushing my heel towards the sky, squeezing my butt as I do it. So it's up to you, okay? Again, weight is stacked. It's like I'm on all fours, right? Think of a dog, knees are just apart. Squeeze, okay? Tap the knee, squeeze. Heel goes straight up. So 50 total donkey kicks, okay? So I think that's 10 that leg. So I'll do 10 this leg, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is good for your glutes and your hamstrings. Again, for us sitting all day. Okay, so that's what 20. So I'll do another 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, four, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's 30. Ten, that's 40, that means five. One leg, one, two, three, four, five, and five on the other. One, two, three, four, five. Finisher, done. Make it harder, do 100. Ooh, just outside, it's fresh. It's nice though, you can see that sunshine already coming out. Hope you guys liked today. Again, thanks for um, watching. The whole description of the workout will be down below. Um, again, the times you can cut through and watch as much as you want. Comment below. Honestly, it'd be real fun to interact during this four weeks of isolation. Um, nice comments would be appreciated. Um, again, or questions, comments, concerns, kind of those things, workouts you'd want to see. Honestly, I really hope you guys enjoy. I enjoy getting up and moving. Um, as I said, I'll try and do this every day. Remember to write your list out, three to four things. What have you accomplished? So far, I've done one, I've made this video. I've started editing the video, so I'm on to two. I still need to do two more. And it's not even nine o'clock, so good things can happen. See you later, ISO mates.